Hey guys, I'm so excited today. For the first time, I'm gonna be making the tapioca pearls and I'll be adding it to my milk tea. I love milk tea boba and I could spend easily about five, four or five dollars on it when you go to the store. So I thought, you know what, let me just buy these pearls and make it myself. It's so easy to make milk tea and these are supposed to be very easy as well. So today I'm gonna show you that. If you wanna learn how to make milk tea, I did make a video about it. So I'm gonna link it above and I'll also add it in the description below. The direction says to boil 10 cups of water to one cup of tapioca pearls, but it's just me. So I'm gonna just cook half a cup of tapioca pearls. So that means I need to boil five cups of water. Once your water is boiling, go ahead and carefully add your tapioca pearls. Give it a little stir to make sure that they're not stuck to the bottom. And then you'll notice that after it boils for a few seconds, you'll notice that the tapioca pearls will start to make its way to the top surface. Once they are all floating, and it happens pretty quick, so don't walk away from the stove, because once they are all floating on the top, you're gonna have to cover your pot and turn your heat to medium and allow it to boil for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes is up, Go ahead and remove the lid, turn off the heat, and let it boil for just a few more minutes. You can test your tapioca, but you want to make sure that they are not overcooked or they're going to be really soft and soggy. Once they're done cooking, you're going to go and shock them by putting them in a cold bath, and you're just going to do this for about 20 to 30 seconds. By the way, make sure you come back later this week. I will be sharing with you on how I made brown sugar boba ice cream bars. All right, back to the video. Next, you're gonna want to strain out the water from the tapioca and add them all into a clean, dry bowl. At this point, you're gonna wanna sweeten the tapioca and the directions on the bag says to add honey or sugar. So I decided to use brown sugar. Um, there wasn't no measurement, so I kind of added a little at a time and I eventually added, I think, two, two teaspoons of brown sugar and that was, that was pretty good, but I think I wanna try it with honey next time. So Amazon was so nice enough to remind me that when I bought tapioca balls, I have to make sure I have these big boba straws. So as it was recommended, I did purchase it and I don't regret it because look how cute this is. It comes in a little pouch with two straw cleaners and then it also comes with five straws. Now, something that's pretty neat about these straws are not only the color, but the way that it's shaped. On the bottom of the straw, there is a slight angle to it, so if you ever need to stab your straw through the plastic lid that the boba drinks usually come in, this one will work just fine. So I have my tapioca pearls and my milk tea ready. Again, if you want to learn a simple milk tea recipe, go ahead and watch the video I made. I have it in the description below. So once you add those two together, you're going to add your ice and that's it. Give it a little mix, put your boba straw in there and enjoy. Again, this is such a simple and quick thing to make. Um, if you want to treat yourself, you don't want to go out of the house because of all this COVID going on, learn how to make things that you love right at home in your own kitchen. Hopefully I taught you something or inspired you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.